channel, I'm Spring, and today I'll be taking you guys through how to do a basic tumble. So the basic tumble is one of the first three falls that we teach beginners. Similar to the back row video, I'll take you guys through a warm-up and I'll build up into the different levels that we have for your forward roll. So it's level one to level six, but I'll be kind of teaching you and taking you through level one today, and you can slowly build up to different progressions if you have a safe space at home to practice. Better to do all these on a mat. So I've got the tummy mats over here. If you have kind of jigsaw mats that are pretty thick, that'll be ideal. Otherwise, um, some soft grass might do as well. Yeah, but just be really careful when you're starting out. Okay, let's warm up. Okay guys, so let's warm up our spine. First of all, so similar to your back row video, I want you guys to warm up just by rocking. So holding onto the top of your shins, just rocking to your shoulder blades and then rocking back up. So you want to feel each vertebrae pressing into the mats, warming up. Let's go for three more. Alright, and the next bit, we're going to warm up just feeling pressure through our hands. So, in a squat position, getting as low as you can, I want you guys to place your palms in front of you, hands between the legs, and we're going to be pushing and just giving yourself a little kick. So, I'm pushing pressure into the palms, arms are straight, and just a little kick. So, from the side, it looks like this. So, this will be our starting position for your tumble later on. So, you want to get nice and comfortable, low in your squat, hands up. And little jump, yeah? So, all the energy that helps you get over in the tumble or forward roll, guys, comes from your legs. So, even when you're doing this exercise, your hands are kind of like, um, they give you a little bit of security that you're not going to hit the ground with your head. But later on, it all comes from the legs. So, try and evenly distribute the energy. You're not just lifting yourself up using your hands, you're trying to kick yourself off the ground. So, kick. Alright, let's do five more.
putting one leg forward into our forward roll. So now we're starting to incorporate the different elements of our forward roll with a different kind of landing as well coming up soon. But starting first of all, bring one leg forward, hands up nice and tall. So from this progression, I've got two hands up. I'll be now reaching my body forward in a more straight line. So before that, I was crunching down into my tumble. Now I want to elongate my line into my forward roll. So level three looks like this. to recover, I'll be landing on one leg and breaking my fall a little bit more steadily. So from here, same thing with the arms, same thing with the legs, I've still got one leg forward, two hands up, but now when I break fall, I'm going down, got my single bridge to hold myself up, so I'm giving myself a little bit more protection through my lower back, I'm not landing and smashing into the ground. One more time, same thing, now just fix your landing. Moving forward guys, level 5. Now we're going to add in the element of taking one hand away. So now again, as I was saying at the start of the video, we're transferring all of that responsibility of getting you safely over into your forward roll, more into your legs now. So my legs are the ones that are energizing my movement. I'm not relying on my hands to give me that support. I can trust my legs to get me over safely. So from here, same setup. Here, now I'm going to take one hand back. Other hand, close my fist. This is just my guiding line, so I know exactly where I'm going. I'm still going forward into my forward roll, but now I've got this hand to help me break my fall a little bit better. And again, one more time, setting it up. One leg forward, two hands up. I like to align myself here for beginners when I'm teaching them. Show them what the line is so the hips are not open. And I bring that one hand back, just behind the bum, close my fist, turn it over. Keep that straight line, trust your feet, and over you go. Last one guys, you jump up. So now we're taking away the element of the hand reaching out, guiding you. Your hand might be stuck in a different kind of throw. So someone else might have your wrist, might have your arm, and you're going to just have to jump from that position here. So practicing your jump ball is exactly the same thing. Lining up your legs, hips are forward. Now I bring my hand out of the picture, and the other hand here, ready for attack. So you can still start out with your guiding hand like this. But now we're not going to reach forward with the arm anymore. As I go forward into my fall, I just tuck it in and take that hand away from the fall. So one more time. Here. Level six. Again, setting it up. That was a quick look at our progression for our forward rolls, guys. Starting with the most basic, the baby tumble, or the basic tumble, you can see how that builds up into your jump ball in the future. Of course, this video is just talking about how to get yourself started in your basic tumble. Please don't try the other falls at home. Try the basic tumble safely. And if you guys enjoyed that, let me know, and we can talk about the different falls in different videos. Take care. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.